day, everyone! I am Kayla Mitalik-Tik, the leader of Group 5. For today's video, the Group 5 will gonna talk all about the language, culture, and society. And now, let me introduce my members. As we continue for the main topics, these are our objectives. And now, let's proceed for the main topic. Language, culture, and society provides an international platform for cutting-edge research that advances thinking and understanding of the complex intersection of language, culture, and society, with the aim of pushing traditional disciplinary boundaries through theoretical and methodological innovation. Relationship between language, culture, and society. Language, culture, and society are connected with each other because language is an instrument or representation of culture that humans use to communicate with one another, whether through writing, oral communication, or movement, sign language, for example, with the goal of conveying the mind's intent or willingness to others. And language does not only reflect and expresses facts and observation, but it also influences attitudes and behavior, and it is an important component of the cultural basic requirements underlying societal development. For example, in the normal transfer of information, through language, we use language to send vital social messages about who we are, where we came from, or who we associate with. And we people can evaluate a person's background, character, and intent simply based on the language they use. Why is it important to study language, culture, and society? It is important for language learners to understand something of the culture of speakers of the target language to focus on one's native language and culture. Cultural fluency needs to be emphasized. This helps students build in communication skills and confidence necessary for social, travel, and business information. So next is language, culture, and society not only reflects and expresses facts and observations, it also influences attitudes and behavior. Also, it is a vital component of the cultural prerequisites underlying societal development. Um, language, culture, and society not only serves as a reflection or ex an expression for facts and observations, it could also mean or it could also be an influence towards attitudes and behavior of, a cer of certain people in a culture or in a society. And the next is, it provides an international platform for cutting-edge research that advances thinking and understanding of the complex intersections. Language is a crucial means of communication and interaction. In addition, studying language, culture, and society can help us analyze the relationship between the two. Language is intrinsic to the expressions of culture. Communicating values, beliefs, and customs that has an important social function and fosters feelings of group identity and solidarity. It means that culture, tradition, and shared values may be conveyed and preserved. Also, language, culture, and society enables us to express ourselves and understand each other. Because of this, we can communicate effectively and we can express what we feel. And by the help of this, we can communicate with the other people also. 
So what are the factors or the social factors that influence the use of the language in the society? Well, there are a lot of factors that influence the use of language in the society, specifically the factors that can affect the language acquisition and that includes age, gender, social classes, and ethnic identity. Now let's uh, give the time to the next presenters that will give us more situational examples about the factors that varies between each social interaction. Social class plays a role too because people tend to speak based on their social class. This means that social class plays a role in how people speak or communicate. Some people speak carefully because they have a reputation or image to protect. Usually, they are the people who are in higher position or higher social class, like for example, politicians or professionals. Ethical identity as a social factor influences language use because ethnic identity is defined as a sense of belonging based on one's ancestry, cultural heritage, values, tradition, and often language and religion. Like it creates accent, some are barriers that depends on the ethnicity they belong to. It is a concept that naturally affect the way they communicate with people. For youth and elder youth, there are different levels of understanding and also in how deep their vocabulary is. When you say youth, it is us at the age of 15 to 24. And when you say elderly, it is our grandparents. We all have different levels of understanding because we are all different. We are not the same mindset, attitudes, and etc. Youth may tend to use words that are easier for us to understand. For instance, and for elderly, they prefer using words with deep meanings or those that they are used to during their elderly years. The social linguist considers age as one of the factors because from the movement, speakers are old are socialized to behave in a certain way and the way they speak and the way they deliver what they want to say tends to fit in what is expected of a certain age of group. Let's have a quick recap. Language, culture and society as a subject provides an international platform for research and advances or thinking and understanding of the complex intersection of language, culture, and society. When we say complex, it means complicated. Therefore, knowing or understanding their relationship can be very confusing. Now, let's proceed to the question and answer portion. Is there any relationship between language, culture, and society? If your answer is yes, then you are correct. Again, language are closely in the community life and they are used by people to communicate, whether, whether they are sign, form, written, or oral. Therefore, society is possible without language. Because of that relation, there is what? There is culture. It is made possible because of the public speaking, where people speak to each other, public thinking, where people who think to create something that becomes values in society and that becomes culture. That is why society life cannot be separated from language and culture system. Let's proceed to the next question. Is it important to study language, culture, and society? If your answer is yes, then you are correct. Again, it is important to study language, culture, and society because language not only reflects and expresses facts and observation, it also influences attitudes and behavior, and it is a vital component 
of the cultural prerequisites underlying societal development. Alright! Now that we have learned about the language, culture, and society as a subject, their relationship and the importance of studying them, and also the factors that influences the use of language in the society, we must also remember that the language that we speak influences our cultural identities and our social realities. When we internalize norms and rules that help us function in our own culture. In doing so, we must also be very careful because it can lead to misunderstanding when used in other cultural contexts. So, thank you so much for listening and have a great day ahead. Bye-bye!